Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. This is the Honey Badger here, giving it to you straight in the RV business as usual. Today we're gonna do this a little differently. This 2015 Sunseeker came in on consignment here at RV Exchange, and it's one of the cleanest, classy motorhomes. And the one cool thing when you do a consignment as a dealer is generally you can dictate a few things with the customer. For example, this customer was gracious enough to put six brand new tires on this motorhome. You also have an outside shower, tons of outside storage, sorry, outside storage, and you have four slide outs with frameless windows. Now, this is a gasoline motor, so it's gonna be a Ford uh, gas motor on an E450 chassis. It's got the rear slide, which gives you a walk around queen bed. As we walk around, you're gonna see it has a power awning. And again, lots of cool storage. Let's see if this is open real quick. So you get an idea of what the storage is like. So you got a lot of pass through area access from over on one side and the back. So that's really, really cool. I'm not gonna open up all the storage not like I normally do in other videos. This does have air conditioning, solar, it has a generator. Now let's go in, let's turn on the battery disconnect, and we can see that we can put out the awning. Okay, so let's do that. It's a beautiful day out here in Pahrump, Nevada. We're just outside of Las Vegas. And actually for June, it's a pretty good month or pretty, uh, pretty good weather right now. So you could tell the awning's in really good condition and it has the LED light strip. Also, all of the slide outs have an awning topper and that's just from folks that have experience. They're like, you know what? We go into places that are rainy. So let's just make sure that we have the least amount of water going into the slide. So really good investment. As you could tell, the awning goes in just fine. He also put new house batteries on it, so that's really cool. Okay, over here, it does say here we have the Arctic package. So the Arctic package is like tank warmers. So that's that. Then you have your water heater, both for electric and for gas, so it can run either or. I mostly use the electric component of my water heater on my fifth wheel, but you have that ability. You also have your generator, your lights, and your slide out controls. And this is actually your solar charge controller. So coming around the, in the kitchen area, we do not have anything more than a three burner stove. So that was very common and is still becoming common practice is not having an oven because you have things like air fryers. Uh, you still have your three burner stove. You still have your microwave and you still have a good size sink, but you gain all this extra storage. So we're gonna set this right here for right now. So look, you got drawers, especially with the limitations. There's a lot of limitations in classy motorhomes on storage. So you can tell all the drawers work really well. They lock into place. So when you're going down the road, they're not gonna pop out. And then underneath the sink, you still have some storage down there. And what I didn't show you outside, but I'll show you here, is this is an area where you can put your trash. There's your trash can. You can access it from the outside to take it out. Now, this was not standard. The customer upgraded these shades aftermarket. So I'm gonna close the door because there's a lot of glare off the camera, but we're pointing at the boost dinette right now. So this will convert into a bed. And then you got drawers, I'm gonna just open one. You got lots of drawer storage on both sides. Flat screen TV. And I know you can't see it right now, but I'm gonna sit on the couch. And now you're sitting right across from the television. Pardon my allergies today. Little cabinets above instead of having uh, the television or the bunk beds. I think that's a pretty good idea. Got a lot of areas for DVDs, covers. Good stuff. 
a sleeper sofa. And here's the cockpit. And remember, this has 14,000 miles on it. It's just in really good condition. This is one of the cleanest used pieces I've had on a lot in probably four or five years. I mean, they took really good care of this. You got your propane electric refrigerator. And everybody, as everybody knows, put the baking soda in there to absorb all the moisture. And then, of course, your freezer. Same thing, they got the baking soda. See, these guys did a really good job. Now, this is the only little thing that I think is a waste of space in this floor plan is this tiny little drawer, but you never know. You can put tools in there. You can put, you know, napkins, paper towels. But this is brilliant. Okay. And voila, roll out pantry. That's just brilliant to me. All right, now. The bedroom, walk around queen bed. Now this is called the uh, bed made. So as you can tell, the uh, comforter is not laying all over the place. It's still attached to the mattress and the mattress will simply push backwards. And now you got your full walk around queen bed with windows on every side. So no claustrophobia. You also have really good wardrobe space. So open that up and let's just show you, voila, there's your hangables right there on one side. And there's your hangables again on the other side. And they got drawers, you know, underwear, socks, television, thermostat for your furnace and your air conditioning. And as I used to joke around when we used to have old school floor plans like this, with the bed right here and the shower right there, you get dinner and a show. And then, of course, my personal favorite thing is the two-way door. So that doesn't really lock into place. And I found out why right here, it's got a pocket door. So that's my fault. Correction, that's a pocket door. But good, good chicken wing space around the toilet, the sink, good uh, storage in the cabinets. Now, something like this, uh, has been listed on the internet all over the United States for around $83,000, $84,000. That's the median price. Here at the RV Exchange, because I understand the market conditions, we're actually selling this for $75,000 out the door. So it doesn't matter where you live. You can live in Pasadena, in California. It's still $75,000 out the door. You can live in Las Vegas, Nevada, our neighbor down the road, and it's still $75,000 out the door. If you guys have any questions, please make sure that you hit uh, the link in the description box below that has my email at levingstonrvservices at gmail.com. You also can visit rvexchangeoutlets.com to see all of our used. You can also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified about future used inventory walkthrough videos like this one. Happy camping, folks.